Now that we have set the X and Y work offset, now what we're going to do is set the Z. And with the Z, we're going to use the uh, paper method. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 3 8 end mill that we, re we already touched off earlier. We are going to slide this piece of paper underneath until it makes friction or makes contact. Then we are going to write that position to the work offset. And what we are trying to do here is we are trying to get the distance. And I have our 1, 2, 3 block set up here. So if you remember, all of our tools are touched off our 1, 2, 3 block. What we need in our work offset is the distance from here to here. So if we were to look at that, roughly we got about like, let's say three and a half inches, something like that. So what we need to do is since all of our tools are touched off of this fixed location, the work offset is once again, the distance from this block, the top of the one, two, three block to the top here. Um, and we should see that number once we're all done in the work offset. So we are going to go to tool setup. Oh, I'm sorry. We are going to go to manual tool management. We're going to click on auto. We're going to click tool number 10. And what we want to do is we want to move that tool to the spindle. And wants us to verify that the spindle is empty. We already took out the edge finder. So there's our 3 8 end mill. And now what we're going to do is we are going to make sure once again we're manual. Switch to 10 thousandths. We're going to bring the head down. Now. I'm not the biggest fan of the paper method here. Um, if you had a probe, much nicer because the probe just comes down and touches the top of the part and you don't have any crashes or anything. Um, they also, they do sell blocks that are like fixed distance blocks that are, it looks kind of like a one, two, three block. They can be round with a little, they have a little push pin on the top. And you put that here and when the tool makes contact with it, a light lights up. And that's when you know you're at like a fixed distance. Usually they're like two inches tall. Um, but the nice thing about that is there's actually a spring, so if you shoot past it, it's okay. With the method we're going to do here, I'm not the biggest fan of it because you now have a rigid tool and, and a rigid stock, and you are if you go past, you are now crashed. You're making a crashing condition. You know, you're now going to push this hard tool into the stock. So uh, while I'm showing this method, it, it's not one that I necessarily, you know, uh, want to recommend to people, but... It is a method that most people use when they start off and, and a lot of shops, you know, do use this. But, you know, if you have a probe, it's a better way. If you can get a, if you can get one of those touch off uh, presetters, that, that's an even better way. So what we want to do is we're going to bring this thing down. We want to get kind of close. We want to be very, very careful here. Once again, not to touch it. And what we want to do is we're going to slide this piece of paper until we get some friction. I'm feeling some friction and now it's stuck. So now you can see the paper is like, I mean, if you feel, if you could feel, the paper is really stuck. So I could just slide it out. So that means we're roughly about three thou away. You know, you can always mic your piece of paper to see how, you know, how thick it is. It's a kind of a crude method here using a piece of paper, but I mean, it does get you, you know, within a thou. Now, normally I would gum down an extra three thou, but we're not going to worry about this since it's just the top of the stock. Now, what we want to do is we want to do the same thing that we did with the work offsets. We're going to go to auxiliary. We're going to go to part setup. We're going to go to work offsets. We're going to go to our Z. And now um, on the Herco, they have an awesome button here that says calculate part Z with the current tool. So if we if we press this button while we're on the Z field, you will now see up here you see part becomes zero and you will see our distance here 2.9164. So what does this 2.9164 number mean? Once again, this is the distance from the 1, 2, 3 block the top of the one, two, three block to the top of our stock. Um, as I mentioned in the first, one of the first videos we do, you know, setting your tool lengths, there's a lot of different ways people do. A lot of people touch their tools off to the top of the stock with the paper method and write that to each tool length. And if you do that, then your Z just becomes zero up here because all your tools are touched off to the top of your part. Um, the method we chose, which was a fixed location with that one, two, three block in the back right corner, we touch all the tools off to that one, two, three block. 
then in the work offset we need to tell the z where the z of the part is in relationship to the top of our one two three block and in this case as as i said before it, i kind of eyeballed three and a half inches and it's 2.9 inches so we're you know we're, we're we're good you know you can always take an edge you can always take a um, caliper or tape measure and or a scale and just double check it but you know I, I know i know we're good usually if you're off you're off a lot um so i feel pretty comfortable so we'll just take our z we're gonna move up move it all the way up out of the way and now we've concluded with setting up our part our tool um and our work offsets all inside the machine